Did I have something on my teeth the whole time? <laughs> you didn't tell me? It's okay, don't blame you. I blame myself. I blame the rotisserie chicken. Hello! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm really glad that you're joining me here. It is very bright. It is so bright. Why is it always sunny? Anyway, hello! I have gotten a few requests to do some green looks or more green eyeshadow stuff. Green lips, green, green makeup, okay? You get it. You understand. So today I'm going to show you kind of a, a green look that I do pretty often. It's using a palette that I think is really easy for people to obtain. That's a really weird... Oh my god, I'm sorry if you hear my cat. She's got the zoomies. Oh yeah, you got that mitten. Get it. Oh, you got it. Are you okay? Do you hear that? Adorable. Anyway, so I'm using the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. It's very colorful. Colorful. It's very colorful. Anyway, if you don't know, I've got merch, I've got a podcast, I have Patreon, I got things to offer you. So if you want to check that out, it's going to be in my description box as always. If you like my content, if you want to support me, the biggest way that you can support me is probably on Patreon. On Patreon, I have separate videos episodes of the podcast, all that stuff that is exclusive to there. I also include a lot of my photography that you can download, use as wallpapers, so on and so forth. There's also a lot of reviews on there. So if any of that sounds interesting to you and you want to be involved in that community, please do so. It really would mean a lot to me and it just means that I can do what I love, hopefully. Yeah, I think that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm just going to get going because green. Oh, also a little side note, if you do like podcasts, I have a podcast, I do uh, episodes every Friday and I love it so much. Please have a listen, become a supporter if you can, just follow along, what have you. It's great. I love it. All right, so I'm going to prime my eyes today with Tarte Shape Tape because I really want to block out and get the most oomph with the color. You certainly don't have to do this. I find that some concealers work well as eye primers, some don't. This one is super full coverage, so it's uh, intense, and I really like it. Green eyeshadow is one of those things that I feel like just doesn't get enough love, you know? It's so cool, it's so fun. Certain greens, though, I like more than others, but you know what? If you're wanting to try green, my friend, try it. Even if it's just adding like a little inner corner. I'm doing an entire like green all over the lid, green in the crease, all that stuff. But if you want to just like dip your toe in the pool of green, maybe just do like an inner corner, like a neon green in here with your neutral eye, whatever. Or not. Or cannonball right in. Sometimes I go in with like a neutral shade first and lay a little bit down. I'm going to do that just a hair. Just a hair. So I'm going to take... Well, I just said that I was using all green, and I guess that's not very true, but. So I take a tiny bit of this shade, it's Birkin by Anastasia, and I just take a little bit, just around the crease and a little bit higher. And when I say a little bit, I mean that. Very, very small amount. It's not really to set the concealer, it's just to kind of lay down a base-ish like that so this is the take me back to brazil palette looks like this very colorful very fun very affordable i'll put the price on the screen somewhere but it's bh cosmetics it is affordable it's nice i like it a lot so i'm gonna go in straight in with this green this one right here i'm gonna put it in the crease like so and just build it up i love this green it is a very vibrant green as you can tell i really pack it on the brush and then just put it down blend it out i go in between the this green right here these two right here and then i'll use this one to deepen the crease this is a little bit more blue green i don't mind that but it just adds a little bit more definition so again i will repeat the steps the same on the other eye bring it up a little bit 
And I like to take this lighter shade, more of a packing brush. So I'll take this lime green, these two lime ones, and put them on the lid and pack them down like so. Just kind of pat it and move it around. You certainly don't have to make it this lime. You can keep it. You can just take that first color and put it all over the lid and then just do the second deeper one in the crease if you want. I think the lime green makes it a little more spring-like. So like that, really like that. And then, like I said, I take a little bit of a smaller brush for the crease. And again, this green that, to me, I don't know, to me that looks green with a little bit of blue. I don't know what to call that color. I really like it though. Take it in a little bit of a smaller brush and I put it in the crease right here it's just mainly on like the outside crease part it doesn't add a huge di it's not a huge difference but it's enough so put it out here bring it in just a little bit like that it just kind of gives it some shape Now, I will take the lighter shades that I use, those more lime greens, run them on the lower lash line, if I can find a brush. So I'll take the two more lime greens, run them all the way across, like so. Run it all the way across. And then I will take that first shade that I used, the bright, vibrant green, and I will put that on probably like half, like that. So half of the lower lash line. And then I will take the deepest one that I use to deepen the crease, the weird bluish green one, and put it on just the outer third of the lower lash line. This little pocket right here, like that. Sometimes I kind of bring it up just a little bit to kind of connect the two here, you see, like that. I really like how that looks. So like that. And that's it. That is literally all I do for the eyeshadow. And I can go in and blend and kind of play around with it and kind of take the first brush that I use to kind of make this a little more soft, to bring it up a little higher. I just kind of play around if I want to build it up, if I want to blend it out a little bit more, whatever. But that is pretty much it for eyeshadow. At this point, I'll either go in with a brown or a black eyeliner. Typically, I like grays sometimes with this as well, but I like the green. The green keeps a little more earthy, so I think that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna add this woodsy liner from the Raw Beauty Christie and ColourPop collab. There's just something about brown eyeliner with green. I just like, it's like fairy vibes, you know what I'm saying? I'll just do a little wing like that. I'll start off with a bit of a smaller wing. So, like here. If you want more in-depth eyeliner talk, I have an eyeliner video on my channel. You can check that out. And yeah, I just kind of play around with building up the wing, seeing how far I want to take it out. pretty simple I think I went through that pretty fast but I love green shadow I think it's a lot of fun to play around with deeper greens if you want to see a deeper green look let me know I'm gonna go ahead and add some mascara do my the rest of my face stuff and then I will be right back to talk more about what else I do I don't know but anyway that's it it's simple it doesn't have to be super complicated practice and try new things get creative you can bring it further out you can bring it further up you can bring it further down whatever you want to do do because it's makeup it's fun it's painting on your face why not okay i'm gonna go do a couple other things and i will be right back the entire day has happened the entire day i'm not gonna lie to you so is that too bright is that too much i can barely see so i might pull down my blinds but i just wanted to come back and show you the simple green look i love this green look i do it all the time obviously i did it very fast and you heard that this is in direct sunlight. That's too bright, that's too bright. I do this on days when 
I am kind of just really busy and it doesn't have to be a special occasion for me to want to wear green eyeshadow. I had a friend come over, a guest for the podcast come over and record with me. It's been an insane day and um, if you don't know about the podcast already, I've, I know I've mentioned it, but um, if you haven't checked it out, by the time this video is up, that episode will definitely be out. So yeah, I think I was laughing so hard and crying. So some of my eyeliner got a little smudged over here, which is totally fine. Um, it does happen from time to time, but yeah. I don't have a lot of face stuff on. I have a nose highlight, of course. Thank you so much for watching today. I appreciate you being here. If you haven't already, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. And yeah, doing any of that stuff, commenting, any of it helps further my content and the algorithm and I just really appreciate it. So know that every time you do that, I just I thank you a lot. If you have anything else you wanna see or hear from me, just let me know. And that is pretty much it. That is all. It's green eyeshadow, it's great. With that, thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope you all are doing well, taking care of yourselves and being kind to others. Thank you so, so much. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye.